Hey guys, uh, mm. I'm really super excited, guys, and that's because yesterday was my birthday. Yes, yesterday was my birthday, and as a birthday present to every one of you, I'll be doing a series of video next week. Don't miss it. A series of video next week, just as a birthday present. And today is the birthday present as well. I'm doing a video on evidence based for those writing the new test of competency all right so if you're meeting me for the first time my name is violet a color chart i talk about everything you need to know about nursing and oski in the uk and the aim of my channel is to make sure everyone passes their oski exam at for sitting so do well to support me by sharing my videos with as many you know who are preparing for oski exam you can also support my channel if you want the link is on the description box all right guys so today we'll be talking about evidence base but before we do that is always a duty in this channel to appreciate those who have passed their OSCE exam. Guys, I can't, in fact, I don't know what to say. I lack words to express my gratitude to God. Yesterday being my birthday, the 15th of February, I got 22 messages all over i've not even read the one on my emails i've not opened my emails like in days i've not read the ones on my emails the ones on whatsapp from my own students the students i prepared for the oscar exam the ones on facebook from my subscribers on facebook alone i've gotten over 17 god no sis are really brilliant i celebrate with all of you who have passed your oscar exam and i say more than the sky is your limit and for those preparing for oscar exam don't be anxious all you need to do is practice well read the marking criteria practice with your friends practice with your peers watch videos and make sure you're getting it right and if you're not getting it right do well to call for help i can't wait to congratulate you so all right guys if you're watching this video please do where to like as a means of encouraging me for taking our time to do this video for you all right so let's get started so for evidence-based we have five in the map for evidence that we have five topics you have to cover before your OSK exam now of the five topics you can only get one but you have to cover all of them so we have diabetes marking criteria i've not done a video on that i'm going to be doing a video by monday on that we have female myocardial infarction which i'm going to be talking about today and we've done a video on pressure or self prevention you can check it out or i can drop it in the description link for you to have a look we've done a video on smoking cessation yes we've done it you can do well to check it out and we've done a video on use of only dressing for venous leg ulcers so today we're talking about what myocardia in fashion so what do you expect to get in evidence base you get your scenario and you get your words you get your research summary or your article summary so the time allocated to this station is what is 10 minutes trust me when i tell you you will finish in four five minutes yes you finish in four five minutes if you know what you're doing five six seven eight minutes you are done just waiting for your time to go off yes it's really really very simple so today i'll be giving us my own formulated scenario and i'll be giving us my own formulated research summary just to give you an insight into the topic try your hands on them pop your answers on the youtube comment section and i'll be happy to mark you all right so this is what you get you get a document like this just to write your what your answers so guys make sure you write clearly and make sure you write what legibly so write clearly and write legibly it's a silent writing station you don't have to talk to anybody you don't have what you don't have any mannequin so let's get started i'll be giving my own formulated scenario here today so mrs ailey brooke a female patient was admitted of myocardia in fashion in the coronary care unit. You came on shift as the nurse in charge of the duty and the patient said she wanted to have a word with you. And the patient asked you what are the likely symptoms she is likely to have with myocardia in fashion. Patient states to you that she has been recently diagnosed with myocardiac infarction and would like you to tell her the likely symptoms she is expected to have. That is our scenario. I can't repeat it again because I just said it all off my head. I'm just looking at this like to guide me. Now, the article summary is, research studies suggest that a positive outcome following myocardiac infarction are usually 
improve when early symptoms are reported quickly and urgently to the world to the team now large scale study suggests that 99 percent of female who have myocardial infection do not have chest pain but they may have nausea throat neck pain irritation teeth pain and cheek pain hand pain and shoulder pain it is very fundamental that patients who report any of such symptoms to the health care team always get what urgent improvements in their care so that is all so the whole story is mrs amy was admitted of myocardiac infarction and you are the nurse in charge of the chief and she said to you she wanted to speak to you and when you got there she told you she's been recently diagnosed with myocardiac infarction i would like you to tell her the likely symptoms she is expected to have and our article summary states that recent so uh, recent studies prove that a positive outcome occurs when patients with myocardiac infarction urgently report it to the health care team now large case studies suggest that 99 percent of females who are diagnosed with myocardiac infarction do not have chest pain but may experience symptoms like shoulder pain neck pain teeth pain cheek pain irritation nausea and such of them so but it is fundamental to note that early detection treatment and prevention of myocardiac infarction occurs when they are reported on time now another thing they will now tell you is what is the relevance of this research to mrs ailey and what advice will you give to what to mrs what to mrs ailey so using your knowledge of nmc 2018 the code professional standard of practice and behavior for nurses for midwife and nursing associates consider the professional ethical and legal implication of this word situation summarize the actions you will take in bullet points so this is a silent station write clearly and legibly and you have 10 minutes to complete this station so guys what will your answer be pop your answers in the comment section so for me i wrote number one it is important to correctly and promptly report any symptom of myocardiac infarction to the medical team as this aids better outcome it is important to correctly and promptly and promptly report any symptoms of myocardial infarction to the medical theme as this aid would better outcome number two so you just write it in bullet points like you see the way i wrote my own just in bullet points just with an arrow so number two females do not usually manifest chest pain but may experience other symptoms such as shoulder pain neck pain throat pain cheek pain teeth pain and ham pain and number three i wrote it is pertinent or rather it is important to report any signs and symptoms experienced whether it is cardiac related or or not so it is important to report any signs and symptoms to the medical team whether it is cardiac related or not and number four i wrote it is important to call 999 if they experience any of the above symptoms and what are the above symptoms shoulder pain neck pain cheek pain hand pain and you know and nausea so these are all the things you are expected to want to inform mrs ailey so guys it is really really simple number one i will inform mrs ailey to promptly and correctly report any symptoms of myocardiac infarction to the medical team for better outcome i would also inform mrs ailey that females do not as usually experience chest pain but may experience any other symptoms such as nausea such as you know arm pain cheek pain neck pain teeth pain number three i will inform mrs ailey that it is pertinent or it is important to report any sign and symptoms she 
experience whether it is cardiac related or not number four i will inform mrs a lee to call 999 if she experienced any chest any uh, cheek pain any neck pain any ham pain any shoulder pain or any teeth pain guys really simple so guys thank you for watching do well to like this video as a means of telling me thank you for doing this video for you and don't forget to support my channel don't forget to share with your peers and friends preparing for oski exam i will see you in my next video and until i see you again keep passing your oski exam i love you all guys and bye